Matthew, uh, what, what did they do with Fields that seemed to give the defense a lot of problems? Uh, I think he just had uh, running lanes, and uh, he uh, kept the drives going on third down. We'll get him in third and long, and it seems like he will just uh, find a running lane and pick it up with his feet or uh, or, or make a throw. Uh, I think uh, he was just keeping the chains moving. I think we, we kind of had no answers for him, and uh, – we got to look at the film and uh, get that corrected. Matt, how would you characterize the execution and then also the effort from the defense tonight? Uh, I believe the effort was there. Uh, like I said, it was just running lanes. And uh, so uh, we didn't we didn't execute by stopping them. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. But uh, when you got a running quarterback like that, and uh, we knew he can run the ball and how fast he is and how good he is, uh, just uh, creating, uh, you gotta you have to be locked in on a guy like that, and you have to uh, execute every play. There's no plays off because, uh, like you see, he'll just pick up 30, 40 yards with his feet. Excuse me. Right here, it, it appeared that you know you guys were getting outplayed in the first quarter, all three phases, and then you got that burst of life. Uh, Bailey came in, you got the two touchdowns. Can you talk about the disappointment that you weren't able to take it? Because you basically got back in the game and could have taken control of the game and everything would have happened the way it was supposed to happen, and it didn't. Can you talk about how disappointing that is? Uh, not disappointing. Uh, I, think, I think the encouragement is we was down 10-zip uh, and nobody hung their hat, but uh, once we come back and get that lead, uh, we got to execute and we got to uh, we got to get a stop on defense. I think they had a uh, they dr just drove the ball and got a field goal out of that. And then they was getting the ball back at halftime. So uh, we got to uh, execute and we got to come out and uh, play well on, back on defense. Matt, when were players made aware of the plan for quarterback with uh, Max starting and uh, ba uh, Bailey coming in? I really had no clue. I was I was on defense. I was trying to prepare for Justin Fields, and uh, so I I really didn't know. That don't got nothing to do with me. Matt, over. Hey, uh, I was talking to Gotcha just now, and he just said that when you play a quarterback like Fields and you rush him, it can kind of throw you off because you know you have to break down and keep him you know in the pocket and keep him contained. How difficult is it for a guy like you that wants to get after the quarterback to kind of strike that balance between rushing him and, and breaking down on him? Uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult uh, because you get up the field too much, get uh, blocked out, and uh, it's a wide open B gap. And so uh, as, as rushers, all four of us just got to communicate, be on the same page, and have each other's back and not give him uh, those lanes that he had tonight. Uh, I believe when he uh, just picking up first down, uh, then you kind of be more timid and be kind of kind of be like, all right, just don't get up the field and kind of hold your rush a little bit. And so, uh, I mean, that's that's what it is, though. Uh, every every team kind of has a running QB now, and uh, so you you just gotta execute and you gotta you gotta. Uh, Pick your spots, and uh, you got to communicate up front. Matthew, I just want to go back to the quarterback real quick. There's such an integral part of the team, and it's rare to play two quarterbacks unless there's an injury. Bill, I mean, Mac was good enough to play, at least start the game. Crowd's chanting for Bailey. Can that create an air of uncertainty for you guys? On defense? Nah, man. I go, I go out there and play, and I. Uh, and I'm trying to, try to execute defense and get the ball back to whoever under center. Uh, so a lot of that, a lot of that stuff don't got nothing to do with me. And so uh, if I was around here making the calls, which I'm not, uh, I'll come up here and tell y'all what I was thinking. But I have no clue in that situation uh, why the switch, uh, what's going on down there. Uh, but when I go down there, when I, I dap everybody up, I dap. Bailey up, I dap Mac up, I dap the whole, I dap everybody up. I'm, I'm, who, ca who, ca I don't care who's playing quarterback, you know, as long as they execute and, and moving the chains, uh, I'm rooting for whoever behind center. Andrew, 
Hey, Matt, when you dropped the three and four like you guys did tonight in the way you did allowing 33 points, what does that say about your group at this stage? And then how can you kind of change course here as you head into some important games in the division? Uh, we got some division games coming up, and this is a long season. Uh, you know, we fought back to get to 500, uh, and then we dropped this one tonight. But all that means is that we got to come back and continue to fight. That's really all that means. We got to continue to... Uh, you know, hang our hats on our fundamentals, uh, our pilings, and just uh, continue to be resilient as a team. Matthew, the Bears were 11 for 18 on third down, including some pretty big gains. What were they, what were they doing in those situations that was giving you guys such a hard time? Uh, I mean, honestly, they was doing very simple stuff, crosses and uh, quarterback runs. Uh, they They had... They had a couple long third downs that the QB uh, extended the play and guys came open, but most of them he was running uh, and, and get, uh, picking up those first downs. And so uh, we just got to see uh, what went wrong in those four, uh, four, uh, third downs, excuse me, those third downs, and uh, we got to come back and execute. Thank you, Thank you guys.